Chapter 8 Rocks and Minerals You must have seen stones lying on the roadside. They are also used in making houses and roads. You may also have seen big rocks in mountains or near rivers. Have you ever wondered how these were made? The top layer of earth is made of rocks and soil. Rocks are solid structures made up of different type of substances. These substances are called minerals. We cannot see rocks around us because they are covered with soil and plants. We can however see some of these rocks in deserts, mountains and the cliffs at the sea. Read about three main types of rocks here. Igneous rocks, also known as fire rocks. Igneous rocks are the oldest type of rocks. Deep inside the earth, the temperature is very high and the minerals there are in liquid form called magma. As the magma pushes towards the earth's surface, it starts to cool and turns into solid igneous rock. However, different igneous rocks are formed depending upon how slow or fast the magma cooled. Igneous rocks formed by the slow cooling of magma deep under the earth's surface are called intrusive igneous rock. Other rocks are formed when the magma erupts from a volcano or reaches the earth's surface through long cracks. Magma is called lava when it reaches the earth's surface. The lava cools quickly and forms extrusive igneous rocks. Basalt is an example of this type of rock. Obsidian is an example of another extrusive igneous rock that cools very fast and looks like shiny black glass. Look at the table below to know about some igneous rocks. Igneous rock and its type. Color. Texture. Uses. Granite. Intrusive igneous rock. Mainly contains minerals, quads and feldspar. Red, pink, grey or white color with dark mineral grains visible throughout the rock. Countertops. Floor tiles. Paving stone. Obsidian. Extrusive igneous rock. Commonly black brown or green, smooth and glassy. Sharp cutting tools, jewellery, ornaments, masks, sculptures. Basalt, composed mainly of minerals, plagioclase and pyroxene, dark coloured, fine grained, largely used in construction projects. Pumice, extrusive, igneous rock, light grey or cream coloured, Extremely porous, this is the only rock that floats. For polishing, lightweight concrete bricks, pumice stones are commonly used as foot scrubbers. Sedimentary rocks. The earth's surface is constantly being eroded. This means that rocks are broken up into smaller pieces by wind, water and ice. These small pieces of rock turn into pebbles, gravel, sand and clay and tumble down rivers and streams. They pile up in thick layers on the bottom of the water bodies. Over a long period of time, the pieces become pressed together and form solid rock called sedimentary rock. Most sedimentary rocks form underwater. Examples, sandstone. These common rocks are formed from grains of sand pressed together tightly. They are formed from the sand on beaches in riverbeds and sand dunes, sandstones are usually made of the mineral quads. It is used in countertops, tiles, concrete, play sand and in making buildings. In India, there are many famous historical buildings that are made of sandstone. Limestone, it is formed from tiny pieces of shells of dead sea animals get compressed. Most limestone is crushed and used as a construction material. Conglomerate. It contains sand and rounded pebbles that have been cemented together, used as construction material and also polished to make ornaments. Shale. It is formed from mud or clay that has been pressed together. Shales can be crushed and mixed with water to produce clays that can be made into a variety of useful objects. 
metamorphic rocks. The term metamorphic comes from Greek words meaning change and form. Metamorphic rocks form deep in the earth where high temperature and pressure cause one type of rock to change into another type of rock. The heat comes from magma. The pressure comes from layers of rock piled on top of each other. The layers on the bottom get squeezed. The thicker the layers, the more pressure there is. If we squeeze and heat a rock for a few million years, it can turn into a new kind of rock. Marble is formed from limestone. It is used in making ornaments, statues and in flooring of houses. Slate is formed from shale. This rock splits into flat layers and is used in making bricks and cement. Gneiss is formed from granite. It is characterized by light and dark bands. Quartzite is formed from sandstone that is rich in quartz. It is a hard weather resistant rock. It is used in glass for making jewelry and ornaments and also in ceramic industries as raw material. Minerals Minerals are chemical substances found in earth's crust. They are the substances that make all the different kinds of rocks. Minerals form due to natural processes within the earth. They are not made by humans. Oxygen is part of many minerals. Minerals containing oxygen make up almost half of the earth's crust. Quartz, feldspar and mica are common minerals. Many rocks are made of these common minerals. Some minerals are rare and expensive. They are called gems. Diamonds, rubies and emeralds are good examples of such minerals. Diamond is the hardest known substance on earth. Gold and silver are also minerals. These are used to make beautiful jewelry. We have read that some minerals are essential parts of our diet. These are known as dietary minerals. Calcium, phosphorus, potassium, iodine and iron are some examples. Some minerals are simple, some are complex, some are easily found and some are very rarely found. Gold, copper, aluminium, iron and magnetite are some metallic minerals. Mica, calcite, gypsum and feldspar are some non-metallic minerals. Some minerals are able to attract iron objects. These are called magnetic minerals. Magnetite is an example of one such natural magnet. Legend says that it was discovered by a shepherd from Greece, Magnus. A magnet when hanged always aligns along the north-south direction of the earth. The face of the magnet towards the earth's north is called the north pole of the magnet. The face of magnet towards the earth's south is called the south pole of the magnet. Some magnets are man-made.